Hi, so in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create this uh, report here uh, which shows you a breakdown of your um, promoters, detractors and passives uh, from NPS reporting and the calculated NPS score over the top as you can see here. Um, and uh, the reason why you might want to be building this type of report over in uh, Zendesk Explore as opposed to um, having it uh, using the in-app reports is that you're able to do more things with it. For example, um, you can filter based on the assignee or organization or add other filters like the group. Um, or you may want to use this data in a different, completely different way. Uh, uh, you know. It, 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 yeah. So um, before we get stuck into building uh, this report, I want to kind of first do a shout out to where the data is coming from. Uh, so whenever any uh, sur survey is responded to on a ticket, you can see it appears on the right hand side. Um, but what you uh, may not uh, be aware of is that these uh, this information is being pushed into the uh, ticket data, uh, which you can access by clicking on the events log here. And you can see that the organization score, the ticket score is recorded, the organization score comment uh, ends up in the ticket field. And even the uh, ticket score comment, in this case, we've got it going through to the Zendesk uh, satisfaction comment. Um, but you could, in the server app settings, have that go through to a custom uh, text field if you wanted to. But the point is that this data comes from the survey app, it goes into ticket field, so you can always check the ticket and you can check these scores at any time to see what actually happened on the ticket. Um, uh, and as a result of this information, it ends up over in Zenes Explore. So now uh, you can get over to Explore by clicking the X at the, to the, uh, the, the squares at the top right hand side of the scre screen here. Um, and once over here, we can start building our report by clicking over uh, here under reports and then clicking on new report on the right hand side. Then we can uh, select uh, support, support tickets and start report. Now, uh, in order to create a report, usually the first thing uh, that we uh, report on is the uh, metrics, uh, but we don't have any metrics at the moment, so we're gonna have to write those metrics. So we're gonna be creating four metrics today, one to measure the Tractors, that is anybody who's rated a ticket uh, zero to six. Uh, the next being the passives, that's anybody who's rated the ticket seven or eight. Then the promoters, uh, nine and above. Um, and then uh, finally, we measure the all, uh, all rated tickets as well. Uh, and using that, we can calculate the NPS score, which is the percentage of promoters minus the percentage of detractors. Um, so let's start with our first metric. So we can build a metric by clicking on the calculations uh, icon over on the right hand side here. Click on standard calculated metric and start our name. So we're going to call all of our metrics uh, T4, start with T4 today. That'll allow us to find those metrics whenever we need to add them or create another metric off of one of them. Uh, and we'll start with uh, the detractors. So we'll say T4 NPS detractors like so and then we're going to create uh, a, a, a you know a metric uh, so we're going to say if the value uh, of the organization score 0 to 10 is less than 7 then uh, use that ticket ID or count that ticket ID uh, and if like so, which is great. Um, it's going to measure the uh, all of the detractors, the uh, but we, we want to add in one extra if statement here, which is to exclude tickets that have been created from closed tickets. What I mean by that is that you may have a ticket that you've been working on with a customer. It was closed out three months ago and then they responded to that old thread and created a new ticket. And that in Zendesk, what that does is it creates a follow-up ticket where all of the data from the old ticket is copied to the new data, uh, new ticket. Um, and so you may not want to have that data uh, being reported on in the new ticket since, it's a, since it is a new ticket. So you can exclude those um, closed from uh, uh, um, 
uh, sorry, created from closed tickets by adding an extra if statement like this. So if not uh, includes any, uh, oops, sorry, includes any ticket tags. Then, uh, or oh, ticket tags, and then we've got to look for the tag in question, which is closed uh, by merge. Like so. Then count the, the detractors, and we'll just uh, put an end if right at the end, which will, uh, sorry, end if which will close out um, uh, the if statement on the other side and will give us this little green tick here, me meaning that this um, metric is ready to rock and roll. So I can click on save here. And once I've saved that, I can go and add this to this report. So I'm gonna say T4. We've got the metric here, we're adding it. Now when I go add the metric, we wanna change it from measuring the sum to measuring the decount. The sum is kind of uh, gonna measure every single time the ticket is updated with the score. It's, gonna, it's not gonna be correct. So we just, we wanna make, make it to, to decount and click on apply. And that's gonna give us a value uh, of the number of uh, detractors uh, tickets that we're gonna be measuring. Now we're going to duplicate this to measure the uh, number of promoters. So I go here and then click on duplicate like so. And we'll choose the regular support tickets default here. And now if I come back here and look for T4, I come back here, sorry. If I come back, back here and look for T4, we've got our copy of the detractors. So I can jump in here. And what we're gonna do now is look for promoters. So instead of uh, uh, detractors being less than seven, we, promoters will be greater than eight, i.e. nine and 10. Save. And now we're gonna add that to the ticket as well. So T4, promoters. Once again, we're choosing the D count, click apply. Okay, so we get out um, number of tickets that are promoters, number of tickets that are detractors. Now we want to measure uh, all uh, NPS. So we'll say, uh, go back over here and um, duplicate this one more time. Click OK. Click on Add again and look for T4 again. T4. And then we'll edit the new one and we'll call this one all rated tickets. Um, and then we're just gonna look for anything where the NPS is less than 11. So that's all scores from zero to 10, to 10 and save that. Now we're not gonna add that to this uh, um, report because we just wanna see the breakdown of detractors, promoters and passives. Uh, but we'll need that all score in order to measure the percentage uh, of uh, detractors minus the uh, so promoters minus the detractors uh, at the end. So uh, next up, we're going to create one more metric, which is the number of uh, passive responses, i.e. the number of people who said seven or eight. So we can do that by once again, creating to um, duplicate this. And then we'll search for that, so T4, T4, the copy, and we'll call this one passives. Uh, now the passives is gonna be a slightly different kind of metric because we do need to, uh, we can't just say above uh, a number or below a number because it is seven or eight. So we'll have to add in uh, rules that specifically uh, look for that. So we're gonna say, if the value of organization score equals seven, um, then ticket ID, and then we can say L if, or it's a short way of saying else if, um, the value 
organization score equals eight, then ticket ID like so, uh, and if. And we've got the little green tick here. So once again, we are ready to go. So we're gonna save that. And now uh, we are ready to build a partial report. We won't have the calculated NPS score yet, but we'll be able to have something that looks cool. Um, yeah, so we're gonna say T4, passives, apply. Once again, change that to the D count here. And now we can uh, start making it look good. So by clicking over here, we can change the visualization to the column. What we can also do is change the chart configuration. Uh, so we might want to uh, have it a stacked bar chart, not show aggregate values. Uh, we also might want to display uh, values. So we'll say show the values uh, inside um, the, the different sections. And now we've got our color kind of, um, the colors aren't looking that great. So we can change the colors by going back here and choosing colors. So we're going to say, well, we want our detractors to be red, our promoters to be green, and our passives to be yellow. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and then we want to see how this has progressed over several months. So this is where we can kind of go into our columns and slice and dice based on the ticket update. You can but uh, actually slice and dice based on different different events as to, to how you see fit. It might be based on when the ticket was created, when the ticket is solved, when the ticket was last updated. I usually find that that's closest to when the actual survey was uh, responded to. Um, so we're gonna say ticket update month year, like so. We move the year above the months so that if there's multiple years, uh, the months are kind of uh, appear along here rather than all the months being uh, left, uh, you know, changed in a, in, a, in a bad order. So, and then we're going to just um, uh, look at uh, maybe the last, uh, you know, s uh, seven months uh, by choosing uh, 2023 from the data here. So if we do that, we can see uh, our, our scores that have come through and, and the number of tickets. Now, we all also might want to have um, just our promoters on the top and the tractors on the bottom. So we can just rearrange this uh, like so. I might have got it the wrong way around. Yeah, I did. Uh, so we want the detractors to be on the top, passives to be in the middle. That'll change the colors. So we might have to rechange those colors. Yeah, so we'll just have to go back into our colors configuration and say passives are orange. Cool. All right. Now we're up to our last part of our report, which is to calculate the NPS score. And uh, the way that we do that is once again, we go over to our calculations, click on standard calculation and we'll call this one T4. Um, and we'll call it uh, um, uh, NPS score. And the way that we measure the NPS score is we've got to um, create a D count of the T4 promoters. So this is, um, we're referencing metrics that we've just created, that one being promoters, uh, divided by the D count of the uh, uh, T4 all, uh, sorry, T4 all rated tickets. Um, close that out times 100. So that's the percentage of promoters. Close the bracket there, minus, and now we want to add in the percentage of detractors. And I'm just going to check that we're, we're, it's all looking good. So at this point, without any further, uh, all our brackets are in the right place. So have a good look at where you've got two yellow ones here. Um, and then there's a yellow one just before the uh, times 100 and then a, another yellow one. So two op opening brackets, two closing brackets. And now we're going to do the same thing for detractors. So 
once again to opening D count and then T4 uh, detractors divided by D count T4 all rated tickets closing bracket times 100 closing bracket we should get a green tick here and that is done so we can save that and now we can add this on as the last thing that we're reporting on in this report so we're going to say add t4 and we want the nps score now when we add the nps score when we click over here firstly we don't want the sum once again we want the d count uh, but this one we want to appear on the opposite axes um, so the dual axes so if I click apply here then we're going to for the NPS score the axis is going to be on this side but all the other ones are going to measure the number of tickets which is uh, on this side like so so here we have our report ready to rock and roll so now all we need to do is give it a name so I'm going to call this one T4 NPS uh, breakdown and score and then we can save it and once we've saved it we can go and uh, add it to one of our uh, uh, dashboards so we go to our dashboard section here jump into NPS or uh, the, 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 uh, the survey here and then we can edit that dashboard and then we can add our T4 report T4 like so and we can add that there now we've already got uh, one in here which is ex the same report that we've just added um, so yeah uh, this is ready to go if you wanted to add uh, further data filters then you can click on add here and then add data filter like so which will bring up um, the ability to say for example we want a ticket group so we'll apply that and then we can move that here and now we've got the ticket group and once you're happy with this uh, dashboard you can uh, publish the dashboard ready to rock and roll so yeah that gives you an idea as to how to build uh, NPS reports over in uh, explore and to break it down uh, based on um, a, a, you know different elements or filter it based on uh, different elements as well now the last thing I'll mention is that uh, because we're using a different data model than the, the report inside of the Zendesk, uh, sorry, inside of the, 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 the Sweet Hawk survey app, um, we are measuring it based on a different event. So, uh, for example, in this report that we've created, we're looking at for when the ticket was last updated, not when the uh, event of the survey was actually actually took place and the reason being is because it's it's not possible to build a report that actually does that in explore um, so there will be some differences in data it doesn't mean the data is not all uh, uh, coming through from all of your tickets but uh, one score that may appear uh, at the end of one month uh, in the in-app uh, survey reports may uh, appear uh, in the next month uh, over in the um, uh, uh, the, uh, the, the Zendesk Explore report. So yes, just be aware that there, there may be some discrepancies there, but it's uh, unfortunately not uh, avoidable. Um, but the, like I said, the data will all uh, come across as per uh, the you know the, the fact that it's on the Zendesk tickets, uh, and you can always check that. So yeah, this uh, should give you a good uh, springboard to, to be able to build the reports you, you like. Uh, let us know how you go, and if you've got any questions, send us an email to support at sweethawk.com. Thanks for watching.